Hello, my name is Tom Hart and I work as a pre-sales solution engineer here at Boyer and Associates. In this quick video, I'm going to share an overview of the ecosystem advantage, how you can adapt faster, work smarter, and perform better with Microsoft. The goal of this video is to help create shared understanding about why our team is so invested in the Microsoft ecosystem and why we so strongly and enthusiastically recommend this ecosystem to our clients as well. Now for a brief personal connection, uh, this is a decades long uh, story, you know, the Microsoft ecosystem. So if, for most of the 2010s, I was in college or working at startups and a prevailing notion that I absorbed during that time period was that Google, Amazon, Salesforce, these other more kind of innovative internet first companies were really eating Microsoft's lunch. And that message was reinforced during my first data engineering role where there was a sharp divide between the legacy team uh, within this healthcare startup that was working on uh, SQL and older versions of .NET um, and XML files and uh, some hybrid on-prem systems. Contrasting that with the more kind of modern team that was all focused on AWS and newer kind of fancier technology. Now, my perspective on this uh, topic on Microsoft in general really started to shift about five years ago as I started hearing and seeing more examples of this value proposition uh, which previously I thought were just buzzwords. Um, so what I was hearing and, and seeing more clearly is Microsoft's focus on uh, enabling customers to spend more time creating value and less time integrating and managing your data estate. Now, that's a relatively simple sentence to say out loud, but as we'll see uh, in the rest of this video, there are some pretty far reaching implications uh, of that idea. And it's a great example, I think, of Microsoft's ability to organize the company as well as this broader partner and client ecosystem around relatively clear ideas, enabling that you know, alignment between a lot of different parties. So as we'll get further into today, um, from my perspective, kind of why my mindset shifted from skeptical to enthusiastic on the Microsoft ecosystem really comes down to the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. So especially when software tools are just that, they are tools, they are means to an end. And the end that Microsoft is aimed at uh, through the mission statement is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Now, the reason that I'm starting with this kind of high level overview is because I think it's very important uh, that we're talking about this ecosystem through that alignment perspective. So to say this ecosystem advantage another way, Microsoft has built a whole that is greater than the sum of its parts especially in this time when a lot of technology companies seem to build technology software solutions kind of for the sake of the solution itself. Uh, I think it's very helpful that there's a clear means to an end perspective uh, in the Microsoft ecosystem. So with this mission statement of empowering every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more, there's a clear direction uh, that Microsoft and this ecosystem is moving rather than just technology for the sake of technology or change for the sake of change. So hopefully through this video, I can help communicate why I see a coherent vision uh, within this Microsoft ecosystem and how the technology makers and users can all adapt faster, work smarter uh, and perform better. So with that, let's uh, start in this shared context that disruption is the new normal. I'll keep this very brief because uh, we're all abundantly aware of how the accelerated pace of change makes it more challenging for many of us just to do our kind of daily job or daily responsibilities, not to mention the larger organizational challenge that many managers and leaders are facing on a daily uh, basis. 
in this context of accelerated change, we're also confronting new digital business models. So that can be an existential threat to some organizations uh, or just an ongoing competitive challenge uh, to confront. In that context as well, uh, there is this compounding global market volatility and the hybrid work uh, and the gig economy. So against this backdrop of disruption, let's talk about this ecosystem advantage and how your organization can adapt faster, work smarter, and perform better with Microsoft. Essentially, uh, no other vendor offers the breadth of the Microsoft Cloud while continuing to be modular and extensible. So you can start with what you need today and adapt as you grow. Now, putting that in the context of the disruption that we were just talking about, it can be critical to be able to start quickly or start small, say implementing Dynamics 365 Business Central to improve your accounting process. Maybe get some quick automation wins uh, from improving that accounting function. And then over time, as budget and timelines allow within your organization's context, uh, growing that use to maybe include Dynamics 365 sales as a very natural complementary extension of your use of Business Central. As you can see in the nice diagram here, uh, there's also very native integrations between these ERP and CRM solutions, which I just mentioned, and the rest of Microsoft 365, Teams, Outlook, Word, Excel, all of the productivity solutions that you've likely used for a long time now. And as we continue to move down the diagram, we have developer tools, the entire Microsoft Azure ecosystem of web services, and the power platform for no and low code uh, automation, app development, as well as uh, external facing websites and copilot capabilities. So when we look at this integrated stack, there is a it just works type flow uh, to all of these native integrations and the compounding benefits that you gain by eliminating siloed data of how many organizations have matured with these point solutions. But when you approach it from more of an integrated ecosystem perspective, as we have on the screen here, uh, there is a lot of efficiency to be gained. One notable example, um, which is pretty intuitive for a lot of people, is the unified identity and access management that you get with Azure Entra ID, formerly Azure Active Directory. So you essentially have one account to rule them all, or you make it very simple for yourself and your users, your team uh, to log in to Business Central and Dynamic Sales and Word and Power Apps, all just using this one account. So simpler from an end user perspective, but also simpler from a management uh, perspective as well. So saying this one more way, Microsoft's ecosystem advantage stems from offering the only fully integrated stack on the world's most trusted and comprehensive cloud. So you can adapt faster, work smarter, and perform better. Now, you may see co-pilots at the top of this diagram here, and uh, I enjoy kind of sharing the, the good word about co-pilots. So let's go ahead and jump into that on our next slide here. So, as you've likely heard, Microsoft has a copilot for every role. You may have been exposed to copilot in Bing or copilot for the web, uh, where there's a variety of an end user consumer facing uh, functionality. And as you can see on the diagram here, uh, copilots within Dynamics 365 are being tailored for many different kind of line of business use cases. For example, I've worked with Copilot for Sales and Copilot for Service for months now and been impressed by Copilot for Sales ability to summarize meetings, draft emails, help me update records within CRM more quickly, and uh, identify tasks or next steps from those meetings. 
Copilot for Service is also one of the most intriguing use cases that I've seen for AI uh, in recent memory uh, because Copilot for Service makes it easier for customer service representatives to access the knowledge stored within a knowledge base. So you can imagine a customer service representative taking a call and having to quickly look up uh, information to address the request and being able to chat uh, in a more intuitive natural language fashion means that that customer service representative can deliver a better customer experience while uh, getting very precise information from the knowledge base. So by integrating these AI powered insights, automation and collaboration into your employees workflow, you can elevate customer experience and operational quality in every department. Now, Copilot and AI in general uh, raises some concerns and it's important to talk about the decades of research and development that Microsoft has been doing in order to responsibly bring AI uh, to the market and to the larger ecosystem in which Microsoft operates. So I've been impressed by uh, the transparency and communication from Microsoft regarding its approach to responsible AI and this focus on security from the start and a recognition that uh, Microsoft as a company and AI in particular uh, runs on trust. So maintaining that trust that Microsoft has been building for decades with managers, developers, uh, IT teams, and the broader companies. And these days, focusing on communicating several fundamental promises that Microsoft is making uh, as AI continues to evolve. First is that your data is your data, meaning uh, it is yours to own and control and choose how you want to leverage and monetize that data. Second, uh, your data is not used to train or enrich the foundational AI models used by others. So you don't have to worry about anyone other than your organization benefiting from AI that is trained on your data. And third, your data and AI models in fact, your entire organization are protected at every step by the most comprehensive enterprise compliance and security controls in the industry. So these commitments that Microsoft makes related to AI are built on top of these principles of fairness, reliability and safety, privacy and security, inclusiveness, as well as transparency and accountability. You can read more uh, at the URL here, and on my last slide, uh, we have our contact information as well. So if you're interested in learning more about Microsoft's approach to AI, and in particular, these principles, uh, we would be happy to discuss further. So wrapping up on this ecosystem advantage, uh, Microsoft is the trusted leader in business applications and low code solutions. And this is a key part of the ecosystem, especially from our perspective at Boyer. So a couple of key stats to help reinforce this idea. Uh, there's a 30 year history that Microsoft has of providing CRM and ERP solutions. Interesting coincidence that Boyer uh, also has a 30 year history in this space as well. There are 500,000 organizations monthly using Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. And this speaks well to the uh, flywheel, the momentum that this ecosystem has. So as more people and more organizations are using this ecosystem, there's more data uh, for Microsoft to improve and understand kind of what's working well and what's not working well, as well as uh, ensuring that this ecosystem will continue to be around uh, in long into the future, ensuring that these organizations are able to continue to grow and achieve more. In that similar vein, there are 33 million, 33 million monthly active users of Power Platform and 130 plus countries supported in over 30 languages. So truly global solution, that can meet your company where you are today, wherever you are on that growth journey, 
and continue to scale and be extensible uh, throughout that evolution. All of these key stats driving home this ecosystem advantage that with Microsoft, you can adapt faster, work smarter, and perform better. Thanks for your time today. If you want to learn more, you can check out our website at boyerassoc.com. You can start a trial of uh, many of the different Dynamics solutions at dynamics.microsoft.com. And you can connect via email and with myself directly on LinkedIn. Cheers and best of luck in your exploration of the Microsoft ecosystem.